This is a video which will explain the Star Network in detail using an animation to help understand the network. You probably wonder, what is a network? Well, a network is a connection of one computer with another computer, or a connection with one electronic device to another, such as a printer and a file server. A network enables these connected devices to send data to and receive data from one another. Networks are used for sharing some files on the internet and playing online games with players on the opposite side of the world. LAN is a local area network, meaning that the network connects with devices in a limited area, such as a home network, a school network, or an office network. WAN is a wide area network, and it connects multiple LANs together to create a bigger network. An example of this would be if you're playing a video game on a server. The server uses the player's LANs and connects them all together to create a WAN where everybody can play at the same time. The internet is an example of the biggest wide area network that exists at the moment. Here we have a router. Routers can sometimes be connected to antennas which can catch a strong internet signal. A router is a device that connects two or more networks together. In a home network you would use a router to connect your local area network, your LAN, to a WAN, which is today commonly known as the internet. A router is connected to an ISP which is short for Internet Service Provider. The ISP gives your router internet access and that can be used throughout the star network in your home or in an office or at a school. In this network, there is a file server and a printer. The printer will normally receive data from a computer which will tell the printer to perform an action which is usually to print out a document or an image. Printers can also send the files to different workstations such as a scanned document. Schools mostly use a file server which stores the data of pupils' accounts including documents and other files. The file servers in schools are often very large since lots of pupils will have to store their data on the server. Business offices also use the same if there is a desktop computer installed in the business office. If workers use laptops, the data is mainly saved on the laptops. Home networks might also use a file server in order to store some files which might take up a lot of space such as a lot of vacation images or movies for new movie nights. Hubs and switches both exist for the same reason, which is to connect printers, workstations, servers, and other electronic devices together in order to create a LAN, a local area network. The hub is basically a stupid version of the switch. Usually there is one switch or one hub in a network, which is located in the center. Without a switch or hub in a star network, the network won't be able to function properly, since data from point A won't get to point B. When a hub receives data from a device, it sends it out to every computer and all other devices as well, and only the computer or the device that needs it will take in the information. Switches are more reliable, but indeed more expensive. An example of the switch in action will now be shown. Workstation number 1 over here wants to send workstation number 2 over there a file. The file is aimed at a specific computer address, which in this case will be the address of workstation number 2. When the switch receives the file from workstation number 1, it firstly checks the address of every device in the network, and then sends the files to the correct address, which will be workstation number 2. Although the star network might seem like a very good network for you to have, there are advantages and disadvantages for it. The main advantage is that it's very reliable. If one device fails, the rest will still work. So here's a quick example. Workstation number one shuts down. That's not a problem, the rest will still work. And usually there's no data collisions which can occur while the network is on. Some of the disadvantages are that the star networks use a lot of cable, so it's pretty expensive to buy all the cable. And switch or hubs are needed as well in the star networks, just the star network specifically. So extra cash will have to be spent to buy those. And if a hub or a switch fails, the whole network will go down and none of the devices will be able to connect to the internet and connect to each other. 